Hey, I was going to say good morning, but I guess it's, uh, it's, it's lunch night. Like my watch? Mm. No, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's new, so I have to do it. Hey, look, thanks, uh, thanks for joining. I just want to take a couple of minutes. My name is uh, Angel Diaz. I, I'm, uh, I'm IBM's Vice President for Cloud Technology and Architecture. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun time. Now, I'd like you to take a moment and just kind of close your eyes and think back. Oh, you up front, please close them. Think back at the first time you used a programming language. And I'm going to try to span decades here to cover all of you, okay? So assembly language. And then you discovered C. And then you discovered C++. Oh, my gosh, classes. And then here you are taking, you know, algorithm design course. And you're like, wow, you know, I'm learning how to write sorting algorithms. But then comes along this thing called the standard template library where you can provide a comparator and all of a sudden, you don't have to write sorting algorithms anymore. It's genius, right? And then Java comes along and, well, you know, you don't have to worry about malloc or all those other things you do, right? Creating the constructors and destructors, Node, Python, etc. This This notion of constant innovation, this notion of democratization of technology, this idea of making our lives as developers easier to, and to innovate around where we have to. It's been a beautiful journey, right? And, and, and I get that, that same feeling whether I'm you know, teaching a graduate level course on algorithms and someone discovers an algorithm they didn't know that helps improve a theorem or whether I'm doing a code review with, with some of our folks and, and, uh, and, and they find a, you know, a piece of code in open source that makes their life easier. It's that same sense of, of excitement. And I feel that here today and hopefully you all as well. Okay, Because you know, we're getting to the point where with containers and what we are announcing now okay, with this this container foundation, where we can start to worry less about the infrastructure, hopefully, and more about the application. And the application at scale, the application that can, say, perform high-level transactions across private clouds, public clouds, and everywhere in between. Okay? So Jim talked about the Open Container Project, which we announced at DockerCon. Very good. Step one, portability of containers. But you need more. Okay? And it is about the more. And, and what I like to do is talk about what our clients... Uh, are doing, enterprises large and small, okay, are doing. But first, from a community perspective, it boils down to code, community, and culture, okay? This is a new community. All of us will be joining. A lot of folks, you saw the, the impressive list of logos, but what's even more impressive is the people behind it. I mean, we've got hundreds of folks in IBM who've been working on containers and Linux for a long time. Uh, it, it, we're just kind of super excited to jump in and do this. But when you write code, you want to write code that's not just well-formed and module, but you want to make sure that you allow space for an ecosystem of other vendors, right? So as we design this, you want to leave space for people to innovate, not suck all of the oxygen. From a community perspective, for all of us who code, it's about our merit badges, right? I want to be a core contributor. You want to have a, a, a fair way of advancing in the ranks. Right? That's what makes these, these foundations, and particularly the ones that Jim have been, has, been, has been helping nurture, successful. Okay? And then, of course, you need a, a support system. Right? Because not everybody knows everything about everything. Does, does it, do you know everything about every, No, say you don't. No! So you've got to work with your friends. You've got to look to your left and your right and work with your friends. Now, the beauty about this also, and this was mentioned earlier uh, in, uh, in the day, is that not all workloads are the same. If you want to bring containers to the masses, you have to understand a huge diversity of workload. Uh, we have the IBM Container Services, which is part of our platform as a service, uh, Bluemix, on, on, on the IBM cloud. And it brings technology such as integrated tools and log analytics and elastic scaling, auto recovery, zero downtime deployments. We have overlays and load balancing, support for persistent storage, and, and of course, a way of dealing with image security and vulnerability, right? Because you need to know the provenance of where these containers come from. These are attributes, and there's a whole lot more, right, that allow you to deal with a diversity of workload. And then perhaps also more importantly, right, the ability to go outside of your container. Because Again, no application is an island, 
right? In fact, you want to interact with many, many, many different containers or many, many different APIs, okay? These are the kinds of things that we do. So this foundation is going to help accelerate the art of the possible. We're going to have, uh, hopefully, uh, as a community, we'll figure out standards for building the next generation of microservice applications. We're going to look at standards uh, in, in open source around API so you can have a rich ecosystem of tools that we can plug in the variety of tools that we use for monitoring and, and managing and doing logs and so forth. And also looking at how do you accelerate the standing up of containers and, 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 and the movement of containers across deployment models. Of course, standard networking models, finer grain control, and interoperability of these containers. These are some of the things that uh, our clients are asking for, that they need, right, to, to handle a diversity of workloads. And this is what we're going to try to do here. But what I do is I like to end with where I started, okay? Remember that moment in time where you got excited about a technology, right? And, and, and how that made your life easier. What's really going to make this uh, foundation of success is you all. You all dreaming that moment of time so that the people that follow after you will experience it. Okay? So please get involved. And thank you so much for paying attention.